We'll jump onto the uh, short embargo section till 10.30 p.m. tomorrow evening. Uh, and we'll start that with Duncan Wright. Hi, Jesse. Um, obviously, having missed the Euros, World Cup will be uppermost in your thoughts. Can you make the World Cup squad being a sub player for United? Do you need to be playing more? And uh, have you got that in your mind? Um, obviously, you know, the World Cup's you know, a long way away, but um, obviously you need, like I say, you know, from last year, you need you know, regular football and um, you know, I was I was so close to, to going to the Euro, so you know, I think obviously it plays a plays a huge part, and you know, it's a big factor. Um, you know, if you're playing over over 20, 25 games, um, you know, of course you you know you're knocking on the door. So I think I think it does play you know a, a big part in that. And you and you're content that, that the role you've got at United will give you that opportunity. I think you know at the moment. Um, you know, I've not done any harm at the moment. You know, if I keep performing well and, and doing well, um, you know, you never know what might happen. So I've got to keep confident in myself and and you know, when I get when I get time on the pitch, um, you know, I carry on doing what I'm doing. Cheers. Thanks, Duncan. Uh, to Matt Law next. Hi, Jesse. Um, I don't really understand why why you say the vaccine issue is, is private and personal. I don't hear anyone outside football. Sorry, Matt. Describe Jesse's private. very clear that it's not something he's going to elaborate on any further. I think we've covered that. In I haven't actually. Can I just ask my question? Go to it. Yeah. I, just ask, um, I, I was going to therefore ask, why is it that, that footballers, when you've had such a positive impact on issues such as racism and with what Marcus talks about, do you recognise that footballers could have a really positive impact on this whole whole debate were you to, to talk about it Matt I appreciate the question but I think Jesse's made it clear that his opinion on this is personal and private I think whether that's the wider issue or the topic itself I think it's one we want to move on from so we'll move next to Dom King please it's, uh, On Friday it's, it's five years to the day since you um, since you won your first cap uh, against Malta I was just wondering um, just first of all recollections of that day and what, how far you think you've come in those five years yeah, it was you know my my debut. Um, it was Gareth's first game as well, and he made a nice little presentation in the meeting before the game of obviously handing my my match shirt to me um, before the match. So you know I was I was over the moon with that, and just be playing at Wembley, you know, putting a shirt on. It was you know it's a huge honour, and obviously I wanted to you know to continue that for for many years, and I think it's just a brilliant moment for for me, um, you know, my family as well, and my friends, and and like I said, it was a it was a special day. And I, I mean, if you remember that day, um, it was the first game at Wembley um, after the country had lost to Iceland. If you said five years on that they've been they've played in the European Championship final, been to a World Cup semi final. I mean, you just sort of talk about the progress that has been made over those five years from a point of view and from the from the squad, and then how far you think you can still go. Yeah, I mean, you know, even from that game on. Um, you know, we've seen what Gareth brought. We've seen, um, you know, his his way of, of thinking and, and how he wanted, you know, the team to play. Um, you know, we knew we'd take, you know, a little bit of time, but we was always building up, you know, towards the World Cup. And, you know, you could see in the World Cup, you know, the way we played, um, you know, the way, you know, the nation got behind us, um, you know, that we was going in the right direction. And I think that was just a, that was just a start. And obviously, you know, with the Euros making to the final, you know, it's another huge step. Um, you know, but for for us as a team, we want to be, you know, number one in the world, I and mean, we want to win, want to win trophies. And I think the progression so far, you know, we're, we're on track for that. Thanks, Tom. Uh, next, we go to Andy Dunn. Hi, Jesse. Um, just talk about uh, before there about you know getting staying in England squad by playing regularly for Manchester United. How important is it going to be over this next year? to know exactly where your club future lies and, and are there any developments in that? Because obviously it's going to be an important year for you now in terms of new contract, a move or something like that. Is that something you need to get settled in your head pretty quickly? Um, no, I mean, like I say, at the moment, um, you know, I've, I've been doing well. I'm, you know, I'm staying confident within myself and, um, you know, I want to be, you know, be playing and, and helping the team. But, you know, at the moment I've not done, you know, any harm to that. Um, and with whatever minutes I get, I, I try and do my best, and, and that's the thing that I'm concentrating on at the moment. But is there, is there any developments in terms of contract talks? 
Um, I can't really discuss anything on that at the moment. Okay. Thanks, Andy. And we'll finish with Jacob Steinberg. Hi, Jesse. Um, I just wanted to ask you about uh, about Jaden Sancho. And the manager said last week that he's maybe a little bit lucky to be in this squad. I just wonder what you've made of uh, his, his start at Manchester United. Do you know how difficult it can be there at times to, to, to break into the side? Have you been offering him um, a bit of advice here and there about adapting to adapting to the club, adapting to English football? And there, are there things that you've seen from him in, in training that we maybe haven't seen in games so far? Yeah, we all know Jaden's a, a world-class player um, and he's one of the best young talents in the world at the moment. And, you know, at a big club, club like Man United, there's, there's always going to be pressure. Um, you know, but like I say, Jaden is a professional. He's been around the game a long time and, um, you know, I, I feel like he's slowly adapting now and, you know, you can see glimpses of that, um, you know, in the previous games that he's played and, you know, we can see that in, in training week in, week out. So, um, you know, there's no doubt that you know, it will it will succeed at United. You know, I've got full confidence in that. Thank you very much. We'll end it there. Thanks for joining us today.